you're passionate about Salesforce, you love the technology, the market is great, right? But you don't have experience. You have the passion, but no experience. What do you have to do? I have three years of experience in the Salesforce industry. I'd like to share my, exp my knowledge with you. And I would like you to succeed. So here are three things you could do to land your first awesome Salesforce gig or to maximize your chances for that to happen. Let's start with the easiest. The first one is earn five Salesforce certifications. Five. The Salesforce admin, Salesforce advanced admin, sales console, service console, and app builder. This might sound scary if you have no Salesforce certifications, but trust me, it's not difficult at all. And your Salesforce journey this will be the easiest thing and will be the most pleasant thing. And you can do it. You can definitely do it. It will give you credibility. The way you do it is the great resources online on Udemy. There are also a lot of great blog posts you'll find online about how they someone passed their exams, what they studied. There are a lot of practice quizzes on Quizlet. Look at them. People have taken the test, they've memorized, they've written it down. You'll find that there's a lot of correlation, 90, 95% correlation. So make sure to get your five Salesforce certifications or card. You can do it, okay? I did it. Invest some time, you just gotta study every day. Study, study, three, four hours every day. Take good notes, practice these Quizlets. Look at these Udemy courses, Mike Wheeler, you can get five sales for certifications five sales for certifications you can do it okay the second thing is try to get an internship once you have one or two sales for certifications go out and market yourself to your local nonprofits what city do you live in for example if you live in baltimore look for the list of the 10 largest nonprofits in the city or do you know some nonprofit that is very big right around the corner from you call their IT departments call their fundraising departments and tell them you'd like to help them manage your Salesforce instance you have the passion and now you need the experience to, to, to practice chances are this nonprofit uses Salesforce for fundraising so make sure to do some research on how, to, how fundraising is done using Salesforce and tell them you would love to help them with their fundraising or their email marketing to enable the fund more fundraising. All right, so go for a three month internship. You'll learn a lot. It'll look really good in your resume together with your Salesforce certifications. And third thing you can do is look at your passion. What are you interested in? And see, can Salesforce help you be better in that field? For example, I have a passion for real estate, specifically for rental properties. I own several properties and I was curious, how can Salesforce help me better manage them? How can Salesforce help me keep track of my tenants, the repairs, my revenues? So I built myself a property management app. I used opportunities to track tenants the day they moved in, the rent, and the day they need some issues, they, they've given me the telephone numbers, their employer name. Second thing is I used Lightning Community Builder to build like a portal where the people can log in. It didn't really work, totally it wasn't totally useful because through the portal people were not allowed did not have the ability to pay but I was testing new technology and I was learning a lot in the way and also I was using different apps free apps on from app, on, on, on app exchange for example an app to collect surveys an app for for mapping the uh, properties, the rental properties, another app for 
for making payments. So my tenants can make payments, yeah. So it's a lot of exploring and some of the things did not work, but some of the things really helpful. And right now, if, if I look at my, when I want to see my, when I forget what, when did my tenants pay, I open my Salesforce One app right here. And then I, under te, I created the record type tenants under opportunities. I click tenants and here I can see in the in from least to greatest the day when they're supposed to pay the rent and how much they're supposed to pay so this is very useful for me to track my tenants so going back to the main question how can you get your first job first get your five sales for certifications second contact your local nonprofits try to help them help them solve their problem and the biggest problem Nonprofits have is fundraising and you can help them fundraise more third build a Salesforce instance around your passion you won't even know how you're using Salesforce and it might actually make help really help you all right good luck leave your comments below and let me know if you have questions I would be happy to help you